I think Deontay Wilder is an amazing person. I like what he's done with himself. He's changed his stars. He's come from nothing to having everything to be the heavyweight champion of the world. So I've got to respect that. I respect him having provided to his family like that. And as he's evolved over the years, he's had a lot of fights, four professional fights. He's come on and on and on and on. And in his last five fights since 2015, he has stepped up the, the competition. Um, and he's become better and better. I do believe he's an evolving fighter, Deontay Wilder. Because he came into boxing so late, he didn't have the big amateur background. Although he did get a bronze medal for the country, he never had no fast experience in boxing on world level. So I believe he was learning on the job, and all those 40 professional fights have really helped him along the way on his skills. And I believe now he's at his best. He's at his most confident. And I'm going to use all that to, to play against him. Everyone builds Deontay Wilder. But look at the record, 40 wins, 39 KOs. But it's not the KO's, it's who you've KO'd. Um, th there's a guy who lives here in California called Chris Ariola, the Nightmare. And I spoke to the Nightmare personally, and he said he doesn't get as hard as both Klitschko's. And he says, I will win the fight. And he's box one of them. So, he didn't knock Chris out, did he? Chris retired with an injury. He didn't even look like knocking Chris Ariola out. Then he made excuses after the fight, saying this, that, the other, my hand, my shoulder, whatever. He isn't this big knockout king that everybody thinks. A lot of people are going into the ring and looking for a comfy, comfy position on the canvas before they go in there. They're afraid. You think the OJ Wild Big Power hits me and I fall down. I don't fear power. Clitch got a massive, massive knockout race going into our fight. He hit me by my chin, didn't matter. But the thing is, what I've got the mental edge on while there is, I've seen him knocked out before as an amateur. Nobody ever knocked me out as an amateur or professional. But I've seen him with a head guard on big pallet of gloves being knocked out. So I believe I can emulate that performance and knock him out. The guy who knocked him out was about 5 foot 10, weighing about 204 pounds. So I'm 6 foot 9 and weighing 260. And when he feels the ferocious right hand of the Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, his legs will buckle. And I keep going on about his legs and his ankles, because he has got a very athletic build. Maybe he should have stuck to basketball, because he's definitely not going to be a fighter after I finish with him. I use one of your expressions all the time, the touch of death and there is no better example than what we saw Saturday night with Deontay Wilder. Jesus Christ can that guy punch. I had him losing all the rounds. Yeah, me too. And uh, I thought one round was really close, could go either way, but I had it 6 to none. And that right hand, my God. <laughs> it's so crazy. It doesn't even make sense. When you look at that shot, it landed it. Yeah. Not, not even on the chin. No. Usually here, if you're a powerful puncher, you could daze a guy. Yeah. You put him out the way he did. Yeah. Wow. And no wind That's, up too. No wind up. Just right from here. Bah! That's touch of death. Crazy. Touch like of death. nobody ever. Think about that guy's record. 41 knockouts. One decision, one draw. It's a crib. Undefeated. 41 knockouts in 42 fights. I mean, nice. that is bonkers. And he was getting out box. Like he's not yeah. the best boxer. Well, he, he might... doesn't care to box with yeah, you. Yeah, that's he right. He just he yeah. knows. Yeah, yeah. Like it's such a crazy strategy because out of anyone that has ever fought in the heavyweight division, he is the one guy that literally can shut everyone's lights mm -hmm. out with one shot. Everyone's a knockout artist. Foreman was uh -huh. a knockout artist. Frazier, Tyson, of course, was a knockout artist. But not like this guy. Mm -hmm. This guy's got it's like another level of craziness. I would agree. I mean, he knows himself. That's what's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. If he was less strategic, he would have started fighting really early. And maybe, yeah. maybe zap that power he has. He knows. He yeah. knows exactly. He didn't care he lost six rounds. He had, no. No, he had no qualms about it. And he got hurt just before just before he knocked out uh, Luis. He was hurt. And he stayed calm. He's like, oh, now you're going to come for it? Now you're going to walk into the light. And bang! Yeah. It's incredible. Well, I think he also knew that from the first fight, Ortiz started to fade. And the mm. first fight was very similar in that the first few rounds, there was very little action. And then it started to pick up, and then Ortiz started to fade. But Ortiz put it on him in that first fight. If you watch that first fight, you're like, wow, this is a crazy rematch for him to take. But mm -hmm. in this fight, he just fought a perfect strategy, just waiting. And people, oh my God, I was on Twitter reading people. This guy can't even box. Like, did you not see what happened? You say he can't box. He's undefeated. He's the fucking heavyweight champion of the world. He has, he tied Muhammad Ali for the most title defenses ever. Mm -hmm. Did you really just say he can't box? In fact, he's a professional boxer. Go in there with him then. <laughs> Go in there. If I laced you up, right before the, you would be like, oh you'd be God. so petrified, you would turn white and faint.
Wilder when asked about heavyweight greats of the past said that he would have beaten you in a fight. Hey, I don't know. Um, I love the fact that he thinks that way because that's what I would say as well. And he's supposed to think that way. He's the heavyweight champ of the world. And that's something very special. And I hope he never forgets that. Are these guys on a par with you, Lennox and Evander, and the guys from your era? Hey, listen, uh, regardless if they are or they're not, they're champions in their right and they deserve the respect of a champion.